Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about the left recursion in the grammar. Uh, the left recursion in the grammar means if the non-terminal symbol of uh, any grammar goes recursively towards the left, we will say that that is the left recursion. For example, in the production A produces A alpha, A is the start symbol and A is a non-terminal also. So if you are doing the if you are doing the uh, expansion of this grammar and we are going to do the leftmost derivation, the tree grows like this. Okay, So the start symbol is growing towards the left only or the non-terminal symbol is growing towards the left only. Let's say if there is a, there is uh, one another production A produces beta, then here we can apply this A produces beta then we can stop here now if you see that the symbol a is growing towards the left that's why this production of the grammar is left recursion or this production is left recursive now if you see uh, the various other uh, derivations which is possible so a produces beta or a produces a alpha and then a produces beta or A produces A alpha and then A produces A alpha and then beta. So these are the various uh, derivations possible for this. Now what is happening here if you understand if A is, A is the non-terminal if we consider that A is a function then A calls itself a number of times and there is no restriction on how many times A can call itself. So without having any condition, if this is the recursive function, if we enter this recursive function, this is called. We enter another time into this function, this is called. We enter another time to this function and this is called. So we have no restriction on how many times A can be called. So this actually left recursion can be taken, taken as a problem for us. Okay. So this is the problem because we do not know how many times we have to actually do the recursion. So if uh, we change this like this A produces A alpha in the place of A produces A alpha, we write it like A produces alpha A. Then what is there? If we write a function A and apply alpha here and then the function call A alpha followed by a so alpha followed by a so while entering this function alpha can be treated as a condition and this a is called conditionally if this condition is not true a is not called if this condition is true the a is called okay so the right recursive this 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 production is right recursive this production is left recursive so there is no problem with the right recursion but there is a problem with the left recursion because we do not know how many times we have to reduce the symbol a. Okay, if we consider this a as the function. Now let us see various derivations of uh, this possible and uh, since this uh, left recursion is a problem, so we will try to find out some mechanism by which this left recursion can be removed. So these are the various derivations possible. Here the string alpha is produced. Here the string beta alpha is produced, if you see. Here the string beta alpha alpha is produced. Okay. And here the string in this derivation, beta alpha 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 is produced. So first or the smallest string which is possible is beta. Then we have a beta alpha. And then we have beta alpha alpha. And then we have beta alpha alpha alpha. And so on so forth. So you can say that the strings which are being produced by this is of kind beta alpha star. Okay, alpha take can take epsilon, then this is this string is produced. If there is a single alpha, this string is produced. If there are two alpha, this string is produced, and so on and so forth. So the string being generated by this kind of the grammar is beta alpha star. Okay, so let us try to convert this uh, production of A produces A alpha type to beta and let's say a dash where a dash produces alpha star so how we will be writing this a dash a dash will be alpha 
and then a dash and then epsilon let us suppose we have to find out this string beta alpha alpha so how we'll find it first let's say for first uh, for beta so a produces beta a dash and then this a dash can take epsilon okay and then for beta alpha a produces beta a dash and then this a dash produces alpha a dash and this a dash can take epsilon so beta alpha is produced like this similarly the beta alpha square can be produced so this is the way we can convert the left recursive grammar in some other form so left recursion is a problem for us that's why we are converting the left recursive grammars to some other form so let us take some of the examples and try to convert those left recursive problems into some other form for example we have a production of kind e produces e plus t oblique t so this is the very well known uh, grammar production you must have seen so e produces e plus t oblique t so here you can see that e is growing left recursively in this production so if we try to uh, relate this a produces a alpha and beta with this one you can say that this is a this is a plus t is alpha and this t is beta okay so if we have to remove this left recursion here what what it will come to we have to do it like beta alpha dash so we have to take the new symbol so e produces beta means t new symbol is e dash and what does e dash produces what does e dash, e dash produce e dash will produce alpha a dash and epsilon so alpha here is plus t and a dash means e dash or epsilon so we have converted this left recursive grammar to some other form which does not contain the left recursion let's take another example as produces s 0 s 1 s or 0 1 so here you can see that here we have s we have s so this is the left recursion if we have to remove this left recursion we will have to make it a form a produces a alpha oblique beta so a is s this s is a the entire thing is alpha and these two productions are beta okay these two symbols are beta so how are you, how are we going to convert this a produces beta a dash so means s produces beta is 0 1 and let's take a new symbol s dash here and then this s dash produces beta a dash beta uh, sorry alpha a dash so here alpha is 0 s 1 s and then a dash is s dash here or epsilon okay so we can convert this left recursion or we can remove this left recursion by this one let's take another example for this the grammar is s produces oblique x and l produces l s oblique s now if you see that in first production there is these two are these two productions are in the same grammar so the first production does not have the left recursion but the second one has so let us convert this to a produces a alpha type a produces a alpha and then beta so for this production we'll be writing the new one new one will be a produces beta a dash okay a produces beta a dash and a dash produces alpha a dash and epsilon now here beta is s so l produces s a dash is a new symbol so let's say let's take l dash here and l dash produces 
alpha means s l dash and epsilon so this these two productions remain the same we are actually changing this one so the entire grammar now becomes entire grammar productions become s produces oblique x and l produces s l dash l dash produces s l dash and epsilon so these are the new productions of the grammar so this way we can convert any left recursive grammar to some other form because the left recursion is the problem for us because we do not know up to what time we have to grow left recursively okay and uh, we we do not have any condition on which we should stop but the right recursion is not such a problem right recursion is not actually a problem so when we find the left recursive grammar we should try to convert that to some other form such that we have a condition or we have the positions by which the derivations can be stopped thank you